Good morning, Strin Village, and happy Christmas. I hope that all of you are well and safe in the world. All is well in my world. The Lord be with you, and let us pray. God with us in this time set apart, in the quiet and stillness, may we draw near to you and to one another. May your word inspire our lives to act with courage and conviction, to birth new possibilities of peace and mercy into this world. This we pray in the name of the Christ child. Amen. The reading today is from Luke chapter 2 verses 8 through 20. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary, she treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Today's sermon is going to be low-key. I feel it's what this day calls for. This day always feels to me more like a day for reflection than proclamation. So I'm taking my cue here from Mary. It's so quiet this morning, so calm, so empty, and yet overflowing with hope and possibility. This is always one of my favorite days of the year. It's one of those breathe deep and take in the beauty kind of mornings. The angels are back in heaven and the shepherds have returned to their flocks. It's just us and the baby. There is, however, always a risk with this morning. The risk being saying too much. Too much about what has happened. Too much about how it happened. Too much about what is next. Do any of us really know? Did Mary? Did Joseph? Maybe this is why neither Mary nor Joseph says a word in today's gospel. They are completely silent. So let us not dilute the marvel and wonder of this morning. This is a morning for treasuring and pondering, like Mary. And honestly, how could she do anything else but treasure and ponder? How could she ever understand or explain she had just given birth to her own Savior? She can't, and neither can we. So to say anything would risk saying too much. So like Mary, we can only treasure and ponder. Some of you may be familiar with the poet Rilke. He was an Australian writer, and I thought about him as I was preparing for today's sermon. He wrote, have patience with everything that remains unsolved in your heart. 
try to love the questions themselves. Do not now look for answers. They cannot now be given to you because you could not live them. It is a question of experiencing everything. At present, you need to live the question. And so what if this Savior born to us this day is not the answer to our questions or the solver of our problems, but a Savior who reveals the larger questions of our lives. And what if the larger the questions we ask, the larger the life we get? What if the larger the questions we ask, the larger the life we get? If that's true, then I want to ask some gigantic, life-enlarging questions. Here are a few of the questions I'm asking myself today. Where is fear blocking my development, keeping my life small, and preventing me from risking who I really am? In, in what ways am I a fugitive from my own life? What is the unveiled life that wants to live in and through me? What animates and drives my life? And is it making me larger or smaller? Where am I stuck, refusing to grow, waiting for external solutions, expecting rescue from someone else, seeking another's permission to live, looking for someone else to tell me what my life is about. And finally, what is challenging me to grow beyond my comfort zone? And what question am I embodying and living today? What about you? What are the large questions in your life today? What are you treasuring and what are you pondering? This morning, it's just us and our baby. Did you catch what I just said there? Our baby. Not the baby. Our baby. It's just us and our baby. God's gift of love to every one of us. And so let us treasure and ponder the child's life and what his life means for our own. Thanks be to God. Amen. I give thanks to God for each of you, and I pray this day you bear witness to the love of God in this world. Bear witness to the love of God so those to whom love is a stranger, they will find in you a generous and loving friend. In the name of Christ Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, amen. Merry Christmas, stoners. I love you, and uh, I will see you soon. Bye.